In this video, I'll be going over examples for the lesson on solving open sentences involving absolute value. This first example will go over something not really covered in the lesson video. So here I have the absolute value of some expression is equal to a number. So what that really means is that this expression, 3x minus 5, could be equal to 4, or negative the expression, 3x minus 5, could be equal to 4. Because it's just the absolute value, that's the distance from 0. So this inside could either be positive that number or negative that number. Anyway, that gives us with these two possibilities, so we can go ahead and solve them. I'll add 5 to both sides here. That'll leave me with 3x is equal to 9. Now I can divide by 3. And x is equal to 3. Now I can look at the second problem. I can first make the negative go into the 4, let's say. Multiply both sides by negative 1. Now, I am multiplying by a negative, but because this is an equal sign, if I reflect the equal sign, I'm just left with another negative. Anyway, I'm left with 3x minus 5 is equal to negative 4. So I can add 5 to both sides, and this will give me that 3x would be equal to 1, or x is 1 third. So I got two solutions from this. x is 3, and x is 1 third. So the answer is that x, there's an x such that x equals 1 third, or x equals 3. These are both solutions, so I have to include both of them in the answer. For number 2, I have that the absolute value of 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 12. So here I have less than. So and. I've got an and statement. And it's either that 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 12, or the other side, we have 2x plus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 12. We could also write this as 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 12, and it's also greater than or equal to negative 12. We could combine it like that, because it is an and statement, you can always do that. So now I'll subtract 4 from all sides, and I get that negative 16, less than or equal to 2x, is less than or equal to 8. Now I can just divide everything by 2. 2 is positive, so I don't have to switch any signs or anything. And my final answer is that x, and I have these equal to signs because the problem has less than or equal to. On the left, negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. On the right, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So there's my answer. So here I have the absolute value of 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 21. So greater than or equal to, so greater, we have an or statement. So either 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 21, or 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 21. So let's start with the left side. I'll subtract 3 from both sides, and I get that 2x is greater than or equal to 18. Now I can divide by 2. 2 is a positive number, so it's easy. x is greater than or equal to 9. On the right, I can subtract 3 from both sides as well. And it leaves me with 2x is less than or equal to negative 24. Now I can divide both sides by 2. 2 is positive, so it's not that hard. Less than or equal to 20, negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12. Just to make sure this can't be written as just one inequality, I'll go ahead and draw a little number line to make sure. So here I'm going to put 9, and here I'll put negative 12. 
So x is greater than or equal to 9. So greater than or equal to has a closed circle and a line ahead of it. x is less than or equal to negative 12. Closed circle because it can be equal to and less than. So I leave it like it is because one doesn't overlap the other entirely. So there is my answer.